Carrickmacross, Ireland, a proud Irish town where the local pub owner's son, Francis Markey, dreamt of becoming a priest and serving parishioners all over the world. But by age 25, the newly ordained Father Markey was heading towards a dark future. Now, 82 years old, he awaits extradition from a jail in Indiana, back to Ireland, to face the charge he raped a young boy more than 40 years ago. His story, part of a growing crisis in the Irish Catholic Church, now admitting that for decades its leaders hid, moved, and even exported suspected pedophile priests to cover up horrific crimes. The Roman Catholic Church has the largest body of knowledge of non-incarcerated sex offenders in the world. Francis Markey was first suspended in 1964 and sent for psychiatric treatment in Dublin. In fact, during the 60s and 70s, Francis Markey would be suspended and sent for treatment three times, eventually being sent to New Mexico, where the church ran a treatment facility for priests with various addictions or sexual problems. Markey would mysteriously resurface here in 1982 in this tiny town of Granite Falls, Minnesota, filling in for a priest at the very, very small parish of St. Andrews. And it was here in 1982 that a young boy would come to this priest's house just across the street from the church and find himself in Father Markey's arms. As I was leaving, he gave me a hug. And when he did so, he stuck his tongue down my throat. And uh, he had been drinking. There was alcohol. I can't say if he was drunk, but he was definitely drinking. And you were a little boy. Very young. The man is trying to protect his identity to save his family from embarrassment. He claims the abuse never went any further. But Markey's arrest in Indiana last year, based on the accusations being made in Ireland, has refocused attention not only on Ireland's church secrets, but perhaps secrets of a small town Minnesota church. Hi, Father Moran. Yes, this is Drew Griffin with CNN calling. So you, you're saying you didn't know him at all? I didn't know him by name. That's what that's all, but I had no contact with him. Father James Moran was pastor of St. Andrews. Markey had filled in for him while Moran was studying in Rome. This is the one who called. Drew Griffin. I'll talk to you, and only you, though. Oh. I don't want any, to be on any of your programs or anything like that. As we sat on a couch just outside of view of the camera, Father Moran insisted he knew nothing of the allegations against Father Francis Markey. But the diocese overseeing St. Andrews told CNN Father Markey was sent from this church to treatment because parents were concerned he had an unnatural attraction to minor males. He never came back to the parish. Markey's attorney has not returned calls to CNN. In Granite Falls, those who did know him now wonder if there are more secrets. To this day, I wonder how many people are wondering whatever happened to him. How many people had encounters with him? I can just imagine how many victims, people he affected, now it seems likely some of them will see their priest again, not in the pews of his old parish, but in the benches of an Irish courtroom where Markey is expected to stand trial. Drew Griffin, CNN, Granite Falls, Minnesota.